You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Round one is here. You can feel the energy in this building. George St. Pierre versus Robbie Lawler. As most people who fight Robbie Lawler try to take him down, and that's certainly what George St. Pierre will be trying to do tonight. George St. Pierre will try and get takedowns, but do not think for a second George is not okay with standing with Robbie Lawler. He fights behind a very educated jazz. He fights behind great striking technique. He does everything perfect, and he will use that if he has to but preferably he will get his fight to the ground against Robbie Lawler. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Big shot. Oh, you're surprise he wanted to get this fight to the ground and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Back to the feet now. Nice leg kick. Lawler gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, blocks the shot. Just misses with that one. Under three minutes remain in round one. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts. And is the first job not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. 26 total strikes unofficially have landed for ruthless Robbie Law. Lawler's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And there comes the separation now. Another big take now. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level great. Oh, disguise that. Nice trip to get the takedown from the clinch. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. That'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> St. Pierre gets caught with that punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go here! All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, there it is again. He just continues to keep landing those takedowns, scoring a lot of points. His opponent has showed a pretty good get up. Oh! oh, and he caught the kick. 
just missing on the uppercut there. Oh, he's hurt. 